Hi, welcome to the Forest of Arden. My name is Chris Ryan. As you can see, we're just short of the 17th green here because we are talking about the short game in this video. And this video is the first of two videos. So there's going to be one following this in about a week's time, which is going to be how you can apply some of the things that we do in this video to your practice and ultimately take it to the course. So we're talking in this video what I call the how and the where. And we're really talking all about how the golf club interacts with the ground. If we can control how the club interacts with the ground and where the club interacts with the ground, we can definitely hit a variety of different shots around the greens. We can get very, very close to most flags and we can definitely save ourselves a lot of shots. Unfortunately, a lot of the golfers I see who struggle with a short game don't have the control. They can't control the how and they can't control the where. So let's first of all talk about the how. So how does the golf club interact with the ground? Now, there's many different ways that this can happen. We're gonna split it into two. And then as you can imagine, you can sort of fill in the gaps around that and you can maybe make up your own ones. But the two that we're gonna talk about is one, which is where the sole of the club or the bounce makes contact with the ground. So that would look a little bit more like this. So the sole of the club is making contact with the ground. And then one is where the leading edge of the club makes contact with the ground. And you can see very, very different interactions. So that would be the how. So first of all, when we're gonna choose a shot, we have to choose how are we trying to get the golf club to interact with the ground? Are we trying to get it to interact more aggressively, more steeply with the leading edge? Or are we trying to get it to interact more with the sole of the golf club? Now, there's a place probably in each round of golf for each of those different options. You just have to choose when that is. So once we can control the how, how does the club interact with the ground? We can then control the where. So that interaction is going to happen, fine. We need to control where it's going to happen. So is it going to happen over here? Or is it going to happen over here? Or is it going to happen in the middle? So that's really key because that's going to improve your strike. The how is going to probably control the flight of the shot. The where is going to improve the quality of the strike. Now, what I would get you to try and do is experiment with many of these. So the first little exercise I would get you to do is actually, let's choose the how. We're going to get the golf club to interact where the sole of the golf club brushes the ground. Therefore, there's going to be no divot. There's not going to be a huge amount of change in speed of the golf club. It's going to continue on its path after it hits the ground. Once you feel comfortable being able to do this, try and make that interaction happen in various places relative to you. So I can make that interaction with the ground happen over here. That's the same interaction, but it's obviously well forward in my stance. I could do it back here. The same interaction is happening, but it's way back in my stance. Next, we could look at the steeper approach. So I'm gonna get the leading edge there's my steeper approach. But again, I could get that to happen over here. Steeper approach. Now you see how I'm having to change my whole setup and my hand position and all that kind of thing. So what a lot of golfers come to me asking is, you know, how should I set myself up in order to hit certain shots? And what I would always try and get them to do really is, is go through how the club should interact and then get them to control where that happens because my setup isn't that important. What is important is that I can control how the club interacts with the ground and where it interacts with the ground. That doesn't have to be around a perfect setup. I could have all the way to my back leg, which is something that most golfers tell, get told not to do. I could have the ball way up in my stance, but I could still get the golf club to interact with the ground in this steep fashion here. And that could be a nice low shot. So, me controlling the how and the where is far more important than my setup. Yes, the setup's got to be about right. We've got to get sort of in the right position to do that. But we need to understand a little bit more about how the club interacts with the ball and where that relationship happens. Ultimately, what you can do is you can hit some different shots. So this would be a shallow approach. And I'm gonna try and just get that to happen just where the ball is. You see a very, very high shot, landed soft, didn't have a lot of rollout, no divot. Now I'm gonna change the how and the where. I'm gonna change the where so it's further back towards outside my back foot, and the how is gonna be much steeper. So I'm now changing both of those two things. And you see I get a much, much lower shot, which has got a lot more rollout. Now those balls are gonna finish roughly in the same place, but they get there in incredibly different ways. So 
If you can control how the club interacts with the ground, you can also control where the club interacts with the ground. Those, within reason, are all the skills that you need to be able to hit different types of shot, different trajectories, with different spins, with different amount of rolls out, and it will enable you to get close to a variety of different flags. The golfers that I see struggling are very one-dimensional. They have one type of interaction, and it's in one place. Therefore, they only have one shot. If the flag suits them, that's great. If the flag doesn't, they find themselves getting a bit stuck, and they don't really know how to play that shot. So, short game for me should, or practice, I should say, short game, should involve a lot of experimentation. Move the ball position around. Try and hit it from different places. Try and get the golf club to interact with the ground differently. Try and hit the ball as high as you can, as low as you can. Try and do all these things and start to get used to how those things can change the impact, the ball flight, the resulting shot, that's where we're going to start to really develop your skill. This to me is more skill development as opposed to technique work. We're not working on technique, we're not looking at setup or shape of swing, we're just looking at developing skills that are going to help you out in the golf course. To me that is the, for a lot of golfers, the most overlooked part of practice. They're looking at technique all of the time as opposed to developing skills. So control the how, control the where and you'll be able to hit lots of different shots around the green. Make sure you check out the next video because we're going to go how you can implement some of those things into your practice to improve your performance out on the golf course. But thank you for watching this video. All the usual stuff is down below. Comments box, like button and the subscribe link is down there. So make sure you subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, the videos are free. You'll just get a notification each time I upload one. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we shall see you back here again soon.